What's up, NASCAR Racing fans? This is Ryan with NASCAR Authentic Views, and I'm back with another video. So today's video will be the Wave 3 review of Paul Menard's uh, Richmond Water Heaters car. So this is the one car that I did pick up from the Wave 3 of NASCAR Authentics. You can, of course, see the other ones there. I have actually picked up these three as well. Uh, this one I'll get before too long uh, in the Gold Series. That one has been released. Um, so I'll probably get that before too long. Uh, so yeah, so pretty much those are the ones that I will have or have. Um, I'll review those. I have reviewed these two already. I'll review that one before too long in the Gold Series. And uh, this one, when I get it. So this is, of course, like I said, the Wave 3. Wave 4 has actually started hitting stores, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, not... Anything said about Wave 5, I don't think that one has hit stores yet, but uh, let me know if you find them, of course, uh, like always. And, uh, yeah, so, there is some speculation about where Pulmonar will go, um, if, of course, like, some of y'all heard, uh, Danica Patrick may or may not leave the sport in 2018, but, uh, there is some speculation whether she will leave the sport, and then also there's some speculation about Ryan Blaney moving over to Penske Racing with... Um, Brad Kozlowski and Joey Logano. So if that happens, um, there's been some also, once again, speculation, not entirely uh, reliable, but that either Paul Menar will go over to Stuart Haas in a replacement of Danica Patrick, or Paul Menar will go over to the Wood, Blood, Wood Brothers for the 21 car. So that, of course, is all speculation. And then, of course, if Paul Menar leaves RCR then guess who that leaves for the one spot in RCR? The Dillon brother. So, it'll be, you know, Austin Dillon, Ty Dillon, and then Ryan Newman for however long Ryan Newman stays in the sport. But, uh, yeah, so it may be rather interesting. It may uh, be an interesting race change for uh, 2018. We'll see. But, yeah, so I got the car open, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the hood real quick. Uh, once again, I do like these hoods uh, the best, I believe. Uh, some of the best things. Uh, are the hoods, I believe. Uh, they have started out with a new, f a few new trinkets for the uh, the next wave, and the five, four and five, I think, have some new trinkets. Uh, whether they have the pit hats, uh, they had Ryan Blaney's uh, actual helmet that they had in there. So just some interesting new trinkets that we're getting along. I think these are some of the best. Um, so there you go. There's the hood. Nothing too much on it. So I guess we'll go ahead and look at the uh, the Richmond Water Heaters Chevrolet. So really, really quite a bright car. It may be kind of hard to show up on this camera. Uh, the camera really does not do it justice. But uh, we see Richmond water heaters here on the front. And, uh, of course, Chevrolet Chevy SS. And uh, looks like a little bit of green on the grill. Uh, a little bit of, not paint chip, but just some paint didn't get overlaid right there. I may try to cover that up if I can. But, uh, yeah, so, like I said, you know, the camera really does not want to focus because... Uh, it's so bright, it's kind of hard for it to uh, get a visual on it. But there we see the 27. Uh, a few various sponsors, really not that many sponsors, as y'all have seen. Um, sponsors really have gone down uh, for NASCAR in the next couple of years, or you know, the past few years, really. Um, we've seen fewer and fewer uh, sponsorship on the sides, especially these contingency sponsors. So that's really a shame. Hopefully we can get some sponsors for too long. Uh, for all the cars, even like stars like you know Chase Elliott and stuff like that, really have struggled with getting uh, contingency sponsors. If y'all look at his uh, Hooters car for the uh, the 2017 season, uh, I did pick that one up. Hopefully, the review will be up for too long. Um, really, there's not much sponsorship on that, so it's really kind of a bummer that NASCAR is losing sponsorship. Of course, they're also losing fans with some uh, controversial changes they've made, but uh, that's not what this video is about. So uh, yeah, so of course uh, Menard here on the front. Uh, this is the old uh, 2017 you know, version where they had the uh, the name banner here on the front and uh, nothing on the back. Of course, they did finally change that. They, uh, as you see, the first car I've gotten that has that change would be the Hooters car as well. Um, the name banner is actually on the back correctly um, in the front windshield is blank, uh, which is you know kind of what I wanted. But uh, you know, I did definitely want it on the back. I'd rather it be on the back than up here. But... Uh, and then the front, I'd rather it just be a blank black banner instead of just nothing at all. So uh, it's not going to, you know, of course, it's not going to have monster or anything. But if it was just a blank black banner, at least it'd be just a little bit more accurate. 
But uh, anyways, I guess we'll continue on with the side uh, Valvoline. You're right here, of course, the big old Menards. Uh, very appropriate for Paul Menard. I uh, wonder where they got that sponsorship from. <laughs> but uh, Richmond, the water heater experts. And uh, just a little bit of overlay right there. A little bit of rain on the back. But yeah, so, of course, Menards here once again on the back. Number 27 on the right uh, side there. Dual exhaust. Um, yeah, so, let's see. There is, you know, just a little bit of an issue. I guess it's not too uncommon to have stuff like that, but the fact that it's such a green uh, green color on a black base um, really makes it kind of stand out just a little bit more when there are kind of uh, overlay stuff like that. So I may try to fix that once again, just take a dark Sharpie marker and just try to cover that up. Uh, it's still not going to look perfect, but it is definitely going to look better than it did. Um, so yeah, so uh, once again, not too much to talk about. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens to Paul Menard in the 2018 season. Who knows, he may just stay with RCR, but uh, we do not know. So that will be interesting. Of course, the other thing going on is who will take over the 88 car in 2018. Uh, of course, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is retiring, retiring, old news. But, uh, yeah, so, there we go, of course. Like I said, Wave 4 has started hitting stores. If I do find those in stores, of course, like always, I will be doing a Wave Search video. Hopefully, I can find those before too long. I've been heading up to the Walmart several times, uh, you know, within the past couple of weeks, and I've not found them. However, they usually stock on Thursday or Friday, so hopefully, uh, with, that, with those days coming up before too long, um, I will be able to find those. So, there we go. This is the review for the Paul Menard uh, 2017 number 27 car. And I'll definitely get some close-up pictures after this. So, as y'all know, as always, uh, like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And, uh, yeah, so this is NASCAR Authentic Reviews signing out. Take care, guys.